In this snip, we're going to focus on how to force a specific exit code with PowerShell. Let's get started. We're going to look at a few different examples on how to throw an exit code. In our first example, we're going to call a script that is passing the zero integer to the exit keyword. If we execute the script and look at the last exit code global variable, we will see the exit code zero is present, which is what we pass to the exit keyword. Looking at the script, you can see there's nothing else inside the script except the exit keyword and the provided exit code value of zero. Now if we move to our second example, we're going to pass the exit code 99 to the exit keyword, except this time we're going to provide the exit code between parentheses. Looking at the script, you can see there's nothing else but the exit keyword and the provided exit code value of 99. In our third example, we're going to throw an exit code using the system environment exit method. Because throwing an exit code using this method will exit our console, we're going to execute this script under a new PowerShell session. If you notice, I'm passing the no exit parameter to the PowerShell executable. Using this parameter ensures the proper exit code is returned to the last exit code variable instead of only returning a zero when the no exit parameter is not used. And when we look at our script, we can see the only command in the script is the system environment exit method throwing the exit code of 98. Now looking at our fourth and final example, we're going to look at the set host exit method on the dollar sign host variable. As in our previous example, if we ran the script in our current session, it would terminate the console. So we're going to start up a separate PowerShell session to run the script. When we execute the script, the correct exit code will be generated back to the originating PowerShell session thanks to the no exit parameter. Looking at the last exit code variable, we see our exit code of 97. And now looking at our script, we see the set host exit method throwing the exit code of 97. That covers forcing specific exit codes with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.